The popular business press often heroically portrays entrepreneurs as superhuman, visionary, self-confident, risk-it-all daredevils. And so, you might easily conclude that because you aren't Superman or Wonder Woman, you can never be an entrepreneur. Well, it turns out that most of these perceptions are wrong. The error lies in the fact that most of these articles focus on the entrepreneur's behavior. And if you do that, you would conclude that you would need to be Bill Gates or Michael Dell. But if you instead look at how entrepreneurs think, you discover a simple, straightforward logic that is available to anybody. Step one, they make sure that what they're about to do is something they really care about, because it's silly to launch into the unknown if you don't. Step two, they don't overthink or dwell on the things that might occur. Instead, they get started quickly with what they have at hand and take small, smart steps towards their goal to see what actually happens. After taking these steps, they evaluate what they've learned, and if they like the results, they take more steps. In other words, act, learn, repeat. Nothing supermanish about that. We have termed this logic of serial entrepreneurs as creaction. Let me explain creaction by contrasting it with a way of thinking that we're all very familiar with, which we will call prediction. Prediction involves logically constructing an image of the future that is based on what happened in the past, then taking planned, thoughtful action to optimize getting what you want in that imagined future. Prediction works just fine when things are, in fact, predictable. For example, you can predict what the world's population is going to be in 2050 because we know the distribution of today's population and what the trends are in birth rates. In this kind of situation, predicting the future is straightforward. But when it's not, when you're trying to figure out if a new business you are going to start is going to work, or whether that cute girl you met on Friday night would be willing to go out with you, prediction isn't much help. The only way to find out is to act. This is where creaction comes in. Research has shown that there are four elements to it. Get started quickly with the means at hand. Invest only what you can afford and are willing to lose. Don't go it alone. Bring others along. And finally, build off what you find and the results created through your actions. As you can see, it boils down to what we talked about before. Act, learn, repeat. Everyone can use this kind of thinking. It's not just for entrepreneurs. It's the common sense approach for anyone headed into the unknown. People have successfully used it for community projects, in their churches, building second homes in unusual places, and deciding to relocate or change careers. Creaction is not a promise of success. It won't necessarily improve the odds of any particular venture or the success of any particular idea. Its power instead is that it enables you to act sooner and at a lower cost. So you'll be able to try many, many more things over the same period of time. Some will fail, but others will succeed. In either case, creaction will always leave you alive and able to play again. So, over the course of a few years, the probability of success of one of your ideas rises dramatically. Moreover, the more you practice creaction, the more it becomes second nature, and the better you get at navigating uncertain times everywhere in life. And as others join you in ventures of their own, society as a whole benefits. Download your copy of our book, Action Trumps Everything, Compliments of Babson College.